think we're good. <laughs> So. Hey there, FlossTube. This is Kathy, the hands-on designer, and Bill, my special guest. The story journey. Bill, that's it. You know, actually, I keep calling you a special guest. I think one more visit, and you know, are no longer a special guest. Yeah. You're just like, you're just like a fixture. Yeah. Well, we'll have to go over the contract. <laughs> okay. All right. So we have um, not practiced this. Um, we have not even really talked about this, but so we're just gonna. We're going to wing it. We're going to do this. <laughs> um, I have a list. So that's about as much practice as we have. We have a full table. We have produce on the table. <laughs> oh, first, we should that's say. That's our special guest. <laughs> we should say, happy hour. What are you uh, What are you partaking of tonight? It's an IPA from Jackson Street Brewing. We're in Sioux City. Local in Sioux City. But your cup, your, your, your glass is from. Doc Ford's in Sanibel Island. Like to be there. We miss, we miss Doc Fords. And so and I'm I'm doing a little margarita action tonight in my little flamingo hand painted flamingo cup. So anyway, ooh, that's good. Um, so yeah, there is produce on the table, really, seriously. I posted about this. First harvest. Woohoo! Our zucchini. I don't know. Are we having it for dinner tonight? No, I don't think we're not tonight. Tonight's right. probably it's gonna be late. It's called pizza tonight. Yeah, probably. <laughs> anyway, I That's think okay. um, there's a couple more on there that mm -hmm. are like ready to pick in a few days. And um, by the time I pick those, that will be the sum total of what we grew last year. <laughs> yeah. Last year was not a bumper crop. Yeah. So anyway, um, but yeah, yay, zucchini. Um, I have a cookbook. We don't really use it much anymore because it's pretty mm -hmm. old um, and like everything's fried <laughs> you know not in a good way um but it was called too many zucchini um so i dig that out every once in a while and just kind of look to see if there's an idea or something for mm -hmm. the zucchini but i don't know what what um uh, what's your favorite way we make zucchini we fix zucchini stir fry stir fry yep mm -hmm. i like it in my um spaghetti sauce mm -hmm. roast a little pine nuts mm -hmm. stir fry a little zucchini and stick it right in the sauce yeah it's really good. So anyway, so you got a zucchini, favorite zucchini recipe, let us know. Because hopefully it's going to be a good zucchini year. <laughs> so anyway, um, before I go any further, I have, I found out today um, in one of the Facebook groups that I'm in that um, Mr. Aaron from Autumn Lane Stitchery says he does not miss one of our videos together. So hi, Aaron. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, check um, out their videos and his designs. Um, I actually just kind of met him at uh, Market this year. I was familiar with his work before that and just really talented um, design duo. Um, he works the, the business with his wife and they do fun, vi uh, fun videos too. So um, Autumn Lane Stitchery. Hi guys. Anyway, so let's, um, what, do, what should we do first? Vintage stitch. Vintage stitch. Okay. Um, so last time I did a vintage stitch that was a counted canvas piece, and then somebody mentioned in an email mm -hmm. um, a different piece that she had stitched that I did too. So I took this off the wall. Yay, a vintage stitch that I actually... <laughs> it's actually not in storage. <laughs> right. So this is also dusty. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit. And it's also a counted canvas piece. We can really hide behind this one. This is called Nova. It's by Jenny Morrow. Um, it's, at one point, I used to know like how many teeny little squares there were. They're all about like, I don't know, inch, three quarters, something like that. Um, and this project, it, it's obviously a big piece. This project took me, okay, I took 10 years to stitch this. Now, in fairness, there were years in there that I did not actually <laughs> work on it, but I did, um, Okay, and some of the blocks, like there's a good one to see, um, where it was just all tent stitch. I actually worked the year um, that I, you know, stitched on it in, in here. So somewhere in there, I think it starts in like 97. Yeah, and it, it took me 10 years. Um, probably like the last portion, which I stitched up here last, um, I think I went like a mad woman at the very end and, um, and just said, okay, it's getting done. 10 years is long enough. Um, but it's on 18 count mono canvas with DMC threads, um, either four strands or six strands. You use a laying tool to get them to lay nicely. 
Um, and it's it's a decent sized piece. And yeah, um, somebody emailed me. Should we go ahead and we can put it down? Because it's also heavy. Um, <laughs> but uh, so, uh, a gal emailed me and said um, the uh, Glen Eagle, the piece I showed last time, was her, um, it was willed to somebody in her family and um, her son. And then that was her, like, in case of fire, like what she would grab first. This is mine. Yeah. <laughs> sorry, honey. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> but you get yourself out. <laughs> I, I'm assuming, I, assuming I'm still ambulatory. I'll be honest. So yeah. anyway, but that's, um, that's my vintage stitch. That's Nova by Jenny Morrow. Um, Jenny, the... I think you can still purchase the pattern. Um, Jenny is not living anymore. Um, and uh, But I believe her family is keeping a lot of her designs going, last I had heard. Um, I know you used to be able to get it from Nordic Needle, but I don't know. Maybe, maybe a shop owner will chime in and say they know where to get it. So mm -hmm. I fix that so it doesn't fall over and crash. So that's the vintage stitch. Yay, I'm slowly working my way through all the old stitches to show you. Um, but uh, okay, so today, if you follow me on the social pages at all, you know um, I posted a, a new release. Um, there's I, there's a, so much to talk to you about this one, um, but it's the ch new Chalk Talk, Let's Talk Autumn. All right, there's the first piece. Um, so let's do a little bit of background on this one. Uh, a, a few videos ago, I think it was like video maybe number 34 or 35. I can't remember which one. Um, I showed the calendar piece. It was called Winter Chalkboard. I did it. It was in the 2018 Keepsakes Calendar, right? Mm -hmm. um, you can put that down. <laughs> <laughs> oh, are you fine Holden um it's actually it's an eight by ten frame so it's really lightweight I didn't put mats or glass mm -hmm. in it um but anyway so the piece the original winter chalkboard piece was in the calendar well they purchased all the rights to that so I can't re-release that but I was approached by a group of stitchers who wanted to know if I would finish the seasons so I said I can do that however since I can't do anything with the winter chalkboard, I will have to create a new winter. Um, and so I decided to really just breathe a little new life into it. Mm -hmm. And there's a lot of options here. Um, and uh, don't go far with that one because I want to talk a little bit more about that. But um, it's in a, uh, it finishes the same size. It's in a, um, on 16 or 32 count, it's in a, <laughs> It's in a standard 8x10 frame, so super easy finish. Um, this is one I actually picked up at um, Hobby Lobby mm -hmm. and when they opened back up. Uh, so we, we kind of checked out there. We just, I, we both, I laid the mm -hmm. frame on it and we were both like, that works. That was it. Mm -hmm. Yep. So, um, so this is, the whole chart itself is shipping out to shops um, next, starts next Friday. So the, uh, they just got the information today. And so contact the shops. I do keep a list of shops on my website. Someday I need to kind of do like a, a website primer because I always get people to, where do I order? What do mm -hmm. I, where do I get more information? Um, Handsondesign.biz. Um, I have not posted all the information about the new one, new uh, designs yet. That's probably going to go up here in the next couple days. But um, there, I keep a list of shops that order directly from us. Um, on the website and uh, those people are on automatics um, those those people those shops are on automatic programs so contact them reach out to them there's um, there's emails and uh, websites listed mm -hmm. a lot of them are also posting out on social media mm -hmm. um, so just make sure you support your shops I do sell some some of my designs not the new things I like to let the shops have them for a while first so mm -hmm. Um, but anyway, so it was kind of fun to, I guess, I don't know, reinvent this mm -hmm. series, make it a series. Yeah. So the series itself is called hashtag talk talk. Um, there is a stitch along group already on Facebook. That's mm -hmm. was those ladies that we were talking about, mm -hmm. um, that, um, that started the group and they've been very patiently waiting for this first one. <laughs> Yes, they have. <laughs> and okay, and I'm just gonna say this, and I'll probably have to say this many, many times, but I'm going, I'm doing the seasons out of order because I am gonna have to do another. I am going to do another uh, winter. Mm -hmm. You know, these are the same size as the original one, mm -hmm. um, but uh, I feel kind of like I want to do a complete set of all of these, 
And the, the original one, now you can actually only get that through um, uh, um, Hershner's. Um, and you can get it as a download from them. Um, I, like I said, it, it's my design. I just don't own the rights to it anymore. So, um, so I, so this way now you get to complete, complete all your seasons. Um, but if you already did the winter, you might like some of these other little extras mm -hmm. that I added to the, um, to the new chalk talk. So here's a smaller version. Um, so I said the, 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 uh, framed piece fit into a standard eight by 10 frame. This actually measures on either 16 or 32 count over two, five inches. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it's really basically a square. And I kind of, I wanted to give you something that, you know, maybe if you felt like the other, the one was maybe a little, you know, too big, mm -hmm. um, just something small. These make great gifts. Um, so, and I had this idea about finishing it. I wanted to finish it as a pillow. I, I love my little pillows to tuck in baskets and, and centerpieces and shelving areas in my, in our house. And, um, uh, I wanted to get a real pretty selection of cotton fabrics. So this is where I'm going to do a little infomercial for them. Simply Stitches is an online quilt shop and I have ordered from them before. It's a mother daughter team, another mother daughter team. Hmm. I like to work with mother daughter teams. Apparently, yeah. <laughs> um, uh, I wonder, I was thinking about this. Um, cause, uh, Priscilla is a Scorpio, and so is Cecile and Rachel is the other mother-daughter team of Just Another Button Company that I, I've worked, I, well, I still work with them a lot, um, and she's a Scorpio too, so I don't know, does that sound, does that sound weird? We're creative folk. It sounds um, astrological. Okay. <laughs> you gotta be careful how you say that. <laughs> I was careful. But anyway, um, so I actually started ordering from Simply Stitches, uh, or Simple Stitches, excuse me, um, oh, I don't know, a while ago, because I started following them on Instagram. I loved their photos. They just really, you know, good color, good clean lines really just speak to me. And so I reached out to them and said, you know, I was working on this project, and would they, I always liked their color combinations that they put together. Um, so I explained my colors. I explained my, what I was doing. And when you can find another person that I can throw concepts out there and they get it mm -hmm. and that's what they send you and it's perfect. Mm -hmm. That's like, that's gold. I mean, that's gold, you know, golden, mm -hmm. sorry. Um, so I, I, they sent me photos, some promotional photos of the bundles that they did because they are making bundles available. Um, and I thought, oh, I don't have, okay, well, this was my bundle that I got. <laughs> it was all pretty and tied up nicely. It's somewhat disheveled. Because <laughs> you know, I went through and I'm like, maybe this color, no, this color, no, this color, no, this color. Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty similar to how it happens too. <laughs> but, <laughs> um, and some, you know, I've kind of, cut a little away from the <laughs> and sampled and you know whatever so she sent me some pretty pictures so I thought oh I'll print out the print out the pictures and show them well though can't you <laughs> I thought it would come out bigger <laughs> anyway so I will put a link below um they had they did two different bundles this is the larger bundle this is actually um, all of the fabrics that originally what they sent me the only one um, they were they ran out of that one so we picked another green that works beautifully and so they have a smaller bundle too okay so you go to their website um, I, I know they were already selling some today because they posted out there as well and mm -hmm. they ship quickly um, I think like at some point you get even free shipping um, their, their, their service is really great. Uh, and, and they just, they make it, they, their presentation is really pretty. Mm -hmm. And, uh, I just think they did an amazing job, um, putting, this is not like say one fabric collection. I went to them and I said, here's my DMC colors. I like little prints. I like big prints. I like having a variety and they put this collection together so you can buy that too for yourself. And I'm often asked, you know, where do you get your fat quarters or where do you get your fabric? You don't, you're not going to use all, I mean, obviously I have some mm -hmm. left. You're not going to use the entire piece necessarily, but 
you know, you, you have, then this kind of creates a little stash. Mm -hmm. So when you're, um, you know, finishing other projects, these are great and they all coordinate and they all go together. And, um, lots of information in this one. <laughs> now you're probably thinking, how do I make that? Are you thinking? <laughs> I know, and I have no chance of accomplishing that. So I'm going to stay out of this one. But anyway, so, well, thank you. Um, I, uh, I did a, a finishing tutorial. Um, it's a, uh, like I've kind of done for the last few charts is there's a link inside the chart that takes you to a page um, on the website mm -hmm. that's got a full picture tutorial of how I finish this, walks you step by step through it. Um, I am working on that now. So by the time the charts ship, that link will be, um, will have the, the PDF that you can print out and follow along. Um, this was very simple quilting. Um, I did some strip piecing. Uh, I, I, I'm a quilter, but mm -hmm. I, I don't think I'm like a very, I, I don't do very complex projects. Uh, so I feel like if I did that, you can too. Um, you wanna show them it, the back? It came together very quickly. Yeah. And so I even did kind of a fun little thing on the back. You guys know I've talked before about the finish where you, you sew on all four sides and then you cut in the middle. Well, I actually kind of made this little pleat here and then um, and there's a little opening in there and that's how you turn it and that's also where you stuff it. And then, should I tell them what I did? <laughs> um, on the back, actually, my intent was to slip stitch the opening closed and I was in a hurry to take the pictures. <laughs> so I actually used a little piece of stitch witchery, like little fusible tape mm -hmm. and kind of put that in there. You're good to go. Worked great. <laughs> and of course, what's a pillow without wrapping a little baker's twine around it? <laughs> <laughs> so then somewhere along the line, I added a third piece because, but wait, there's more. There's more. <laughs> That's the Hello Autumn. Lots of different, uh, lots of different options with them. It's a four inch hoop, again on 16 or 32 count over two. Um, it finishes nicely into a four inch hoop. A little bit of the design intentionally kind of rolls off the edge under the hoop. I also included finishing tutorial for this in that tutorial with the link in the chart. Um, I used one of the fabrics from this and actually you can see this is the fabric that I used and then you kind of get a little bit of a clue if I can open it how I cut it um, to make to wrap it around the edge and then um, you want to show the back too this was so funny the other day did I tell you this people thought I was holding a pancake <laughs> I put it on my Instagram stories and I played with the lighting a little bit and they're like why are you holding the pancake <laughs> It's breakfast, um, I don't know. Yeah, well, you know. Um, so I did also uh, include, I stitched a couple of the leaves. Oh, darn it. Did I not include, did I not bring the leaves over? One second. I just got to show you this. Okay, I'm going to stop it here and then we'll pick okay. it back up. Okay, and we're back. That's your first time ever having to do a cut, <laughs> splice. Yeah. So I forgot to pick up some um, things off my work desk. That um, I kind of, I like, you know, there's always a story and then there's the other story behind a lot of the pieces. Um, I just kind of, like I said, I wanted to do a fun extra little design to give you lots of options. You can pick parts of these patterns um, and then just stitch part of the word, stitch, you know, you could stitch the, um, you keep holding that one. Like you could just stitch the Harvest Blessing or um, or the acorns if you know somebody, if you have somebody who just loves acorns for all you friends that shop at Acorns and Threads, you just need to stitch that part and send it to Janine. <laughs> <laughs> but um, so just, you know, lots of fun little things that you can pick out of this and, and the big one. Um, but when I was doing this one, I knew I wanted to somehow, since it's a different, like the design's a little different than the other two, but it's the same color palette. Um, I wanted to bring something from those over here so I um, to kind of connect the two. So I did the leaves. Well, just to show you, part of the process sometimes is just 
I need a sip before I get into this. Trial and error. Because in my brain, I wanted the leaves to be on like chalk, like the rest of the piece. So I found black perforated paper. My friend Ginny, who owns the Shanty Stitchers, ordered this in for me. And she's gonna be very disappointed when I tell her I'm not using it. <laughs> Sorry, Jenny. Um, so uh, Monday, I was doing a lot of the pho photo, the, the photography for the cover, and I posted about. I ended up being in my pajamas all day. Yes, because I had to rip this apart and restitch, re restitch, repaint, do whatever, and then um, and then get it to look like this. Um, so I wasn't lounging in my PJs all day. I was working. <laughs> <laughs> but originally, so I put it on the black. Well, I mean, yeah, it's okay. It just didn't do what I wanted it to do. Um, and then the ribbon wasn't working. And so I don't know. And, and I, the black, I just, it just wasn't working. And I didn't want to scrap it because I just was like, it's adorable. I can't mm -hmm. scrap it. So um, what that actually is, is um, craft brown perforated paper, and it was still a little too dark. So I got a little bit of um, this craft paint, and this is called Warm Buff, it's the apple barrel paint. And I just dry brushed a little bit onto the very light coat onto the craft brown perforated paper, because mm -hmm. then that matched um, the one floss color in there. And so it kind of blended more. I mean, I wanted it to stand out, but I didn't want it to, stand out <laughs> so anyway um so then i just painted it with that now i do know i think witchell makes some more hand dyed perforated paper mm. which might work mm -hmm. so if it matches the dmc color in there you know should be all set you you would be um and then i backed it of course with a little bit of wool felt and then cut it out again i explain this all in the tutorial and i put mm -hmm. some wire well we were kind of shopping on i don't know when was that we were doing a mad dash in the craft aisle at Walmart because <laughs> it's the Ooh, only thing open. Sunday. Yes, because it was open on Sunday, mm -hmm. <laughs> and um, we were looking for white wire. We couldn't find white wire. Nope. We found more black wire. We found brown brown wire. We found light brown wire. We found orange wire. <laughs> we found green wire. Everything. Mm -hmm. Well, I ended up going with that really pretty kind of light. Mm -hmm brown color. I think that worked out well. It turned out well. I like that. And then um, I don't couldn't even begin to tell you how many times I tied that bow on Monday. Um, and I even, I kept all this because I thought you guys have to see sometimes what goes into these designs. Um, and then I was bow practicing. I mean, I make a mean bow and I could not get that bow to go right for love nor money. <laughs> I think you called that's me. A, a, that's a talent right there. <laughs> I make a mean bow. <laughs> it's not a mean, like nasty bow. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I'd probably make a happy bow. <laughs> there you go. Nobody would be happy with it. <laughs> okay. At all. So I was practicing my bow making skills. You know, they just don't teach you that in college. <laughs> but um, so I grabbed a pen and I, I finally got one I liked. And I was like, okay, remember how I made that bow? And then I made it on there. <laughs> <laughs> so whew, it all comes together. Um, and, and I was, I taught myself a new skill, um, how to, you know, wrapping the, <laughs> I did a couple of these to test out colors, you see, mm -hmm. and what I wanted. So that's kind of everything that goes into it. Um, and then I did save a few of these scraps. This is more just kind of going back to the pillow, but kind of that strip piecing, um, that fabric was cut in one and a half inch strips. And then I show you how I strip piece. I am not a quilt pattern writer, so I'm going to talk to you in terms I'm hoping you understand. Um, but that's how I pieced this whole section right here, um, and it should be easy. And then, and then you washed it. And then I washed it. Good point, mm -hmm. <laughs> because my most of my corners match up. But once you wash it, and it gets all nice and crinkly, nobody cares. And you know, I, I always kind of go with that theory that if they are looking that close at my pillow to check out my corners, then eh, they, they deserve what they need. <laughs> so anyway, so gosh, did we cover all the bases with Chalk Talk? Lots of information so. in there. 
So, oh, no, 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 okay. Um, okay, the order of the release. Um, okay, so did I talk about that? Okay, so fall is out now. Since winter has already sort of been out, like the mm -hmm. big one, although we, I'm making a new big one, we're going to jump ahead to spring mm -hmm. just because we can. Because, and because, it's already designed. <laughs> it's already designed. It's yeah. off to the model stitchers. You know, because this year is just so kind of screwed up, I just sort of figure this, my motto for the year, everybody gets a pass. <laughs> right? A lot, a lot of passes get handed out. <laughs> yes. So we're going to go... Autumn, spring, summer, and then we'll end with winter, the new winter. Mm -hmm. And hopefully by then it'll be the new year too. <laughs> um, but so we ought, we do have a stitch along group. Um, it's, I'll put the link below. It's H-O-D Chalk Talk S-A-L on Facebook. It's a Facebook group. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, there will be the tutorial, the link in the chart, fabric bundles, Go check those out if you would like to get my fabric selections or just even have a great pretty fall combo platter of fall fabrics. Mm -hmm. um, and then also Zappy Dots made a really cute little um, needle nanny. It can come as a needle nanny or a scissor fob. And I chose, instead of doing multiple this time, um, I think I it's this. Because mm -hmm. it just fits so perfectly. Yeah, it looks really good in the round um mm -hmm. in the round shape and i'll be putting that out there on my on my ig stories um and it'll go over to F facebook as well so you get to, to take a peek at it so um if you would like one contact your shop and say you would like the i'm calling this the hello hoop hmm? i don't know i just came up with that yeah. <laughs> like yesterday <laughs> so i think mm -hmm. is that everything mm -hmm. for for talk talk mm -hmm. so we have a two more new releases um coming out it's the continuation of the um secret santa so we showed you a sneak peek last time of this one dear santa dear santa it's kind of a whole new take on your annual letter your kid's annual letter to the big guy you know dear santa i've been good and then the next one is which list, which list are you on? So it's time to confess, which are you on the nice list or the naughty list? Um, and I thought it was really funny when uh, the first ones came out, somebody commented on, um, I think it was my an Instagram mm -hmm. comment. She said, oh, Kathy, are you on the naughty list or the nice list? And I went, I don't know, just wait and see. <laughs> <laughs> no comment. Yeah. Which list are you on? Mm, no comment. <laughs> okay, depends mm -hmm. on the day. Mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. <laughs> but anyway, so these two also start shipping to shops next Friday. And remember with these template is on the website. Um, I don't like give specific finishing instructions for this one, um, because there are several tutorials on my website for flat finishing. This is what we call in the biz a flat finish because well it's pretty darn flat mm -hmm. um and then also because it's shaped if you look at um i have a, a, just a general flat finish tutorial i also have a tutorial i think it was with the 12 days um so. where mm -hmm. it, like shaped um, there are shapes in there yeah. yes mm -hmm. so uh so go review some of those tutorials i just kind of felt like you know i didn't need to keep repeating myself there's a whole bunch of tutorials there that will help um, I did do a little picture tutorial though of how I attached the um, the holly beads at the bottom. Those are um, by Just Another Button Company. You can buy them in packs of nine. There's nine ornaments. Remember, eight charts, nine ornaments, because with each one, we're revealing the secret Santa from the bottom up. So by now, this is what? Two, three, four, five, five, five and six be three-fourths of the way through so yeah so you're like about here <laughs> mm -hmm. if you if you're keeping up and a few of you are um i've seen some people posting yeah. out there on it so that's a lot of they fun really good um but anyway so which list hmm. i'll find out later which one he's on hmm. so so that's secret santa so um shops are taking pre-orders now mm -hmm. um they're figuring out what supplies they need to get 
Um, oh, I guess I should say with the chalk talk, um, sorry, I, my model is stitched on 32 count slate fabrics by Stephanie. That's pretty much what I do most of my chalk pieces on. Mm -hmm. um, there are so many options out there. If you don't want to do over two, slate can be, she does dye it in 16 count. Um, there are so many different chalky fabrics. There's a, there's blackboard, chalkboard. Every dye house pretty much has um, something, you know, substitute. I, I, you know, I just happen to really like this linen. I like how it stitches. Um, I like stitching on it. So find what you like by now. My gosh, if you've been doing anything chalk, you, you know what you like. Mm -hmm. um, so the 32 count fabrics by Stephanie slate, and then it's actually stitched with DMC floss. Mm -hmm. Um, when I post on the website, I will list the DMC colors. Mm -hmm. Um, the nice thing is for all three, you'll probably need, you want to hold that one up. Mm -hmm. Um, three, if you do all three, you will need, I'm going to say you need three skeins of the white. And of course that's the 3865. I think all the other DMC colors, you're probably okay with just one skein. Mm -hmm. So it's that's, pretty, you know, it's pretty floss friendly project and just a lot of fun so um I'm, and it seems like people are really liking it so thanks um a lot of a lot of positive feedback that's always that always makes me it's feel always good. Nice. yeah absolutely <laughs> you know the the email the shop email gets scheduled to go out at what like 6 15 in the morning and there's mm -hmm. always that like Will they like it? Won't they like it? Yeah. <laughs> um, so anyway, so hopefully. And and again, um, much like with a lot of the other chalk designs, this will be an easy one to do on a different color. Mm -hmm. uh, since it's a pretty limited color palette. Sure. Change them up. Absolutely. And and I welcome you to do that. And you know, and I can't wait to see you start posting finishes. And as always, do that the hashtag hands on design, because I like to go see them. Um Let's see. So that's new releases. Mm -hmm. Do we have anything else? What are we working on now? That's the next section. That's it. <laughs> okay. We, have, we do have a list, which <laughs> Thank is a good one. <laughs> so I do want to mention, okay. <sighs> you know, okay. I'm just going to say this. 2018 was a really bad year <laughs> for chart mistakes. I mean, it was bad. It was kind of like. I, I don't know. 2018. 2018. 2019 was really good. <laughs> I think in all, we only had like maybe two. And I realize that's too, too many, but I'm sorry. We are human. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but um, so somebody did point out that um, there, the, what's pictured, this is the small um, summer piece uh from well-rounded this the mm -hmm. chart well-rounded and remember that's one it's got all 12 um pinwheels mm -hmm. perennial pinwheels in it three per season and they come in graduating sizes and somebody noticed that the small summer did not match what was charted inside did not match the cover mm -hmm. um and in a whole series of things that could happen and things that could go wrong. <laughs> this was the first. <laughs> mm. um, this was actually not the final design. It is, however, what I sent to the stitcher and she did her best and she stitched what I sent her. However, I sent the wrong file. So there's a small change in the bottom mm -hmm. to what is um, in the chart. So should you like to stitch it, with how it appears on the cover, um, go to the, I even hate to tell people I have this on the website, but the oopsie section, um, and and it's listed there. Like I just, I give you, basically it's um, this pinwheel. I took that pinwheel off and added something over here. So it's really from mm -hmm. this little bird perch right here down. It's a very minor fix. Mm -hmm. um, they both look good. So if you've stitched the way it's charted already, it's all You're good. all set. Just ignore what I just said. <laughs> so I apologize. Um, and add that now to the list of 67 odd things that I need to check before I finally release yeah. a chart. <laughs> mm. 
The yeah. list is long and distinguished. Oh my goodness. I mean, there's no spell check for numbers and, no. you know, DMC numbers. Wouldn't that be wonderful if there was, mm -hmm. yeah. but, you know. Symbols. Yeah, symbols. Mm -hmm. um, um, I don't know. <sighs> All kinds of fun stuff. Yes. So, um, so do check out the, uh, the, the oopsies page on that. So it happens. Sorry, folks. Um, we, we can only go up from here. <laughs> Yes. Let's finish the year you're, strong. You're doing all right. You're, you're doing all right. Um, so, so what else are we working on? We are working on um, class kits like crazy. It's been kind of an interesting year. It was, I've, I've mentioned it before, it was supposed to be a big year for travel and teaching. Mm -hmm. And now we're what, in the middle of June and I haven't been anywhere. <laughs> so, um, so the class kits for the Indiana retreat, they've long since had their finishing kits and I'll be Zooming with them in the end of July mm -hmm. to go over there um, to, to kind of have their little class time. We are working on the class kits for the Midwest retreat um, and getting ready to head, uh, well, to take those with me that that's been rescheduled at this point. And then um, uh, what else? Oh, Ocala, Florida. So what would have been like my third, no, my fourth mm -hmm. teaching retreat by through the year. Actually, right now, it looks like it'll be my first, yeah. <laughs> like actually being there. Um, so that's at Brick City. So we are, um, I'll give you a little sneak peek. The class is full, by the way. I should probably not do this, but I'm going to. But look at the fun fabric. Um, that's a, the theme of that one is called Coastal Christmas. Mm -hmm. And um, so... This was a fun fabric. We picked this out together, didn't we? Mm -hmm. We were standing across the aisle and we both went. There it is. Yep. So um, fun, beachy, Christmassy colors. Yeah. I don't know what you yeah. call it that. So turned out well. Um, anyway, so we're getting those kits ready. It's all about kit packing right now. Um, anyway, well, we're really kind of hoping that Florida happens because our goal, we haven't seen our... Um, our youngest in quite some time mm -hmm. and um and we're hoping to get like a dovetail it onto a big nice family vacation so fingers crossed anyway so doc forts yes <laughs> back down in florida so i'll i'll have to take my my flamingos with me oh they got plenty of flamingos there anyway so um gosh i feel like we've kind of mellowed here yeah um but uh well thank you for joining me thank you for your Thanks for assistance. having me it's always fun um no q a this time i didn't put that out there i don't know got any questions for me <laughs> not at the moment okay <laughs> anyway so we'll do that again next we'll do that again next well time. it's always kind of fun i don't know yeah sometimes i know the answers sometimes i don't <laughs> <laughs> But, you know, I usually at least try to know where to find the answer. Anyway, so lots of good things coming up yet this summer. I'm so glad that you like um, uh, the Let's Talk Autumn as mm -hmm. part of, for the Chalk Talk series. And um, we've got releases coming up in July mm -hmm. and August. Um, August will wrap up the Secret Santa. So all will be revealed then. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, so It's busy summer. It is a busy summer, and I hope that everybody's uh, uh, doing well. And as you're getting yeah. out and about, staying healthy and and be well, be well. <laughs> so, okay, before we just ramble on for another five minutes, yeah, <laughs> we should probably go here and have that pizza for dinner. <laughs> In the meantime, enjoy the stitch. <laughs>